joins us live from the newsroom now with our top story at 10. Well, Shelley and Tom, quite a day at the State House, and it started with former Speaker O'Brien calling for an open roll call vote for Speaker, not the traditional secret ballot, which would have forced Republicans opposing him out into the open. According to members of the Republican caucus, that move backfired, opening the door for a stunning upset. Longtime Hudson State Rep Sean Jasper took the Speaker's gavel Wednesday night after an improbable victory over his own party's nominee for the job. I went into, into today thinking it, that I probably wouldn't even get to the point of having my name placed in nomination. Most everyone figured former Speaker Bill O'Brien would be back in the post he held from 2011 to 2013, but he fell just short of a majority in today's first ballot, opening the door for Jasper, who carried the votes of House Democrats and just enough Republicans to win. Mainly what I want to bring to the to the Speaker's office is the value of working together and respect. When I came here first 30 years ago, there was a great deal of respect between the members and you didn't see much of the animosity that, that sometimes pops up, as we saw today. Republican backers of Speaker O'Brien are calling Jasper's victory a disgrace. He stuck it to the caucus, to the Republican caucus, who voted for Speaker O'Brien, he gave us no respect whatsoever. What motivated Democrats today to support Representative Jasper? I think a care about the institution, having witnessed what went on four years ago, uh, uh, some of the nastiness and uh, uh, just becoming a national joke. While Jasper is now in charge, analysts say leading will be difficult. 75% of Republicans voted for someone else other than this Republican speaker. The House will be a fascinating place. We did try to seek out Rep uh, Representative Bill O'Brien of Mont Vernon for comment tonight, but we were unable to reach him. Some of his supporters now wonder if he will be back at all, given the lucrative opportunities he has in the private sector. Some say it's possible he could resign. Reporting live in the newsroom, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.